Today I'm going to show you how to segment a chicken. Now, the success, initial success of this depends on whether some, well, the breastbone has been broken in the manufacturing process um, or not. And I think this breastbone has been, the breastbone is the wishbone and it has been broken, but I have to remove the breastbone from the carcass. Yeah, so that we can successfully segment the rest of the chicken. So there's part of the breastbone. So you've got to find the part. So you think of your own body and it's the part that holds the top of your rib cage together. And when that comes out, the rest of it comes away pretty easily. I'll be using a range of knives today. To do this job and there's a number of terms you will be learning about parts of the chicken and also about the fact that when the chicken uh, when you go to a restaurant and get a particular chicken dish what they actually um, call it so first part I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the um, chicken breast which is all the way along here and you can see when I take the skin off you can actually see the division if I remove the skin I can use that skin later when I make some chicken stock so we want to take the whole of that breast off so we can use the paring knife or we can use our boning knife to cut down here and we're going to separate the breasts from the chicken carcass. So we've got to go either side of the center bone. And it never ceases to amaze me how cleanly it is done by the people who do it for the chicken industry. So this is our breast here. We cut as close as we can to the bone. We don't want to leave half the flesh on the carcass. We're going to use the carcass for our chicken stock. So that's the breast. When we move around here we have the um, we have the wing which is part of that whole section. So we want to remove the wing with the breast. The reason being is that when you're in a restaurant, if you order Chicken Supreme, which you'll pay a lot of money for, the first part of the wing is attached. So I'm just removing the skin as so I can so you use that in the stock. You can see how the, the wing is attached and we want to keep that attached. We don't want to remove that from the carcass. We need to cleanly cut through to the joint where the wing is attached to the to the rib cage. I might use my little knife to get in there. Just got to cut the flesh and you can see it's going to come apart. Now I'm not cutting through any bone, I'm just cutting through sinew and tissue. And I have removed the breast from the carcass. And what I need to do next is I need to remove this part of the wing. Snap through the joint and cut through there. And what I do with the wing tip, I put that aside and I'm going to use that in the stock. We might have a bowl and we'll put all our little bits that are going to be used in the stock in there. This 